basically it was your first time going up north catching smallmouth, right? <clears throat> yep. So you fished three, kind of just two smallmouth tournaments. Yep. Tell me what you learned. Um, I basically learned that I should have been more realistic with myself as far as the techniques, locating fish. It's all the same. You know, I know how to drop shot. You know, I know how to throw a crankbait. I know how to throw a jerkbait. Like, I've done it so many times for largemouth, spotted bass, whatever. Um, they get on isolated hard, hard stuff, rocks, you know, pat holes in the grass, isolated grass patches. That's typical. That's just what, that's what an ambush point is, no matter where you go. The thing that I learned is on St. Lawrence River, I kind of never got on the deal. I should have kind of fished my way a little bit more. Uh, I did have the bikes on St. Lawrence to have a really good tournament. Like that's just, that one just didn't go my way and I couldn't make up for it because I'm not super versed at knowing how to grind out smallmouth. You know, I had like a couple good spots. I really had to fish for the entire day and that's just, that's not my style. I like to hit a lot of spots. I like to go really, really fast. I like to hit a lot of isolated stuff. And Champlain was obviously dominated by smallmouth. Almost everybody was catching smallmouth. Very few people were actually catching five largemouth every single day which is what I committed to because I really thought that was my best chance to actually win that one. Then we go to Lake St. Clair, and I kind of feel like I got unlucky on that one. Like, I really felt like I was on them to do really, really well in that one. Maybe made some mistakes as far as, you know, timing deals go. But, I mean, for the most part, it's very standard. Like, fish get on stuff that you expect them to get on consistently. It's not random. It's not anything weird. I mean, you did, like, St. Lawrence River, you got a fish deeper than I've ever fished before. I caught a fish out of... I think, I think I caught a fish out of 55 feet of water. Caught two back to back out of 55 feet. A few out of 50. That's deeper than I've ever fished before, but you only got 70 foot of line out. Like, you know, you just reel them up. It ain't that hard. So, I mean, it, it's a lot, it's different, but at the same time, it's not. They get on the same kind of stuff. So, I really made some mental mistakes in the two smallmouth tournaments, but at the same time, uh, I really feel like that just didn't go my way. Like, I've I don't feel like I'm that bad at smallmouth fishing. I talk it up a lot on YouTube and stuff because, you know, I don't want people to expect me to catch them or something like that. But at the same time, I'm really not that bad at smallmouth fishing. You know, like I, I know where they get. I can drop shot to them. I can catch them. I can land them. I'm using the best equipment. I got the best rod, the best reel, the best line, the best hooks. You know, the only, the only deal is I didn't get the bites. So, I mean, I feel like both of those really could have went my way. I, I fished a... Uh, I don't know. I feel like I fished decent. I've been looking back, reviewing the footage. I feel like I fished decent. It just, it didn't happen for me. So, I don't know. We'll, I don't really know what happened, but we didn't catch one. If you could change one thing out of the last month and a half, what would you change? A uh, line on day one to St. Lawrence River. I'd go to eight pounds instead of seven pounds because I broke off two dang biggins. And, uh, you know, I weighed in two pound and a halfers. On the first day, we had like 12 pounds. I had a two and a half pound large mouth, a three and a quarter and a three and a half small mouth. So, and I weighed in two like pound and a quarter, pound and a halfers on the first day and I broke off a, a one that was probably four a little bit better and then I broke off another one that was an absolute, you know, a really, really good one that I never even turned. So if I'd have went to eight or 10 pound line, it's one thing I try to do is I try to get a little bit too technical with it and go to too small a line sometimes. And I wish I would have just used eight or 10 pound test and really you know, landed the bikes I would have landed. So I did that on St. Clair. And on St. Clair, I only lost one fish. I mean, it was a four pounder, but I only lost one. So, you know, I really wish I could have, I would have uh, not tried to overcorrect. That's a big deal in fishing is overcorrecting. I wish I wouldn't have tried to overcorrect and I wish I would have just used eight pound line and I believe it would have landed those other two fish. What do you think you did well? Uh, that you didn't expect to do well? I don't know, like, I, I didn't spin out. Um, I did have a, a rough time going, uh, you know, on day one of St. Clair. I really had a rough deal going where I couldn't, like, I feel like there's, every time I made an adjustment, I didn't get a bite, which that's usually whenever you start to feel rushed and start to feel like you're kind of spinning out. But thinking back on it, the decisions I made going through and stuff, I really don't think I spun out at all. Like, I, now that I think back on it, reflect on it, and I'm looking objectively at, you know, my analytical thought process that I was making, I feel like I made really good decisions for the entire deal. I mean, I really don't think I'd change anything. I feel like if I could go back, um, one thing that I, I mean, I, I kind of did what I thought I would do, really. I don't, I didn't really surprise myself at all. I, I, I did fine, I believe. What was your favorite part of the month?
favorite part of the uh, trip. Trip. Um, it's definitely got to be whenever I found those largemouth up north on Champlain, and uh, I went up there on day one, and in like an hour and a half, had 17 and a quarter, and I was like, they were actually here. They stayed for once. A school of largemouth stayed in two feet of water. So that, that was a that was pretty cool. Champlain, the entire tournament was cool. We caught a bunch of fish, caught them the way I like to catch them. So that was definitely, you know, the most fun part. So what are you about to do now? Oh, rig this little dude up right here and go sling him around for a little while. Or rig this little dude up and go sling him around for a little while. That's what I'm ready to go do. Seven foot six point blank rod, 60 pound K9 braid, big hooks. Let's go have some dang fun now. All right guys, so Basically, that was just a little video Hunter decided to throw together, spur of the moment. Just a couple, a little, little kind of a recap of my New York swing. You know, I really, I really talked it up about how bad I was going to do for the smallmouth. And I did bad in those two tournaments, but I really don't think it was because of the smallmouth. I think it was really, those are the two tournaments that I made the poorest decisions and I got the most unlucky in. So, I mean, it just happened to be those were smallmouth tournaments. But anyways, besides the point for that, I've been in New York, Detroit, up and up north for over a month now. Just got home. And I have responded to very few YouTube comments. So if you have any questions over the past month or ever on my YouTube videos that I've never got around to, leave me a comment and I will answer all the questions. And another thing, leave another comment and let me know what you want to see in the next True Series because we're about to get that back up and rolling. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a fun one. If you enjoyed watching me go up there to New York and catch some bass, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.